Hey everybody, it's Joey from Universal CPA Review. Some of you might know me as Ask Joey. If you're studying for the CPA exams and you consider yourself to be more of a visual learner, you've come to the right place. So don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, join our Facebook study groups, and our Reddit community. You can find the links to those in the description below. Okay, so now let's break out section 1231 assets into our two buckets. And let's start with bucket number one, which is section 1245 personal property. Okay, so this is any property that is not real estate related property, aka this is not land and it's not buildings or structures that are built on that land. Okay, but this is still going to be long-term property that is used in a trade or business. So if we're thinking about take back hotels, we're thinking this could be things like furniture, right? Those beds that the guests are sleeping on could be computers that their management team works on. It can include company trucks that are used in the ordinary course of business. Okay, so let's pull out our section 1245 mental map, and we're going to break this down a little bit differently than we did for section 1231. But what I want you to remember is that regardless of whether we're dealing with section 1231, section 1245, or section 1250, we're thinking about take back hotels and that the IRS is coming to take back their money. Okay, and as we remember, our keywords for this module is the word recapture. When we thought of section 1231, we were thinking about recapturing ordinary losses from section 1231 losses within the previous five years. Right, we used that five year look back rule. Now, when we think of section 1245, we're still thinking about recapturing ordinary income, which is ultimately what we're recognizing, but we're specifically recapturing ordinary income by focusing on accumulated depreciation for this personal property. Okay, so thinking about our mental map, step one, we're going to calculate the gain from the sale in the current year. Okay, so we're focused on personal property. So let's assume that Take Back Hotels sold off this truck for cash this year. The sales price over the net book value will result in the gain. But now in step two, we're going to be recapturing, only we're not going to be applying the five-year look back rule. Okay, section 1245 is simply going to recapture and recognize ordinary income as the lesser of the accumulated depreciation for that asset or the total gain that is recognized. Right, basically what the IRS is saying so you're selling off this asset today, and we were kind enough to let you accelerate your depreciation on this asset in previous years. We let you do this in good faith, right? By allowing Take Back Hotels to take depreciation expense in previous years, Take Back Hotels was able to reduce its ordinary income amount that was getting taxed in previous years. So now the IRS is saying, wait a minute, hold up. Now you want to sell this asset and recognize the entire gain as a capital gain? Not so fast. We're going to go back and recognize that income that you previously deducted from that depreciation expense, and we're going to recapture it, right? The IRS is going to take back its money. And again, this will be done by recapturing the ordinary income as the lesser of the accumulated depreciation or the gain that is recognized in step one. If the accumulated depreciation is the amount that we're taking, Right, naturally, that means it's the lesser amount of the total gain and the accumulated depreciation. Okay, so if we calculated a gain in step one and we took the accumulated depreciation as the lesser amount and recognized it as ordinary income, that means naturally we still have some gain left over. So in step three, we're going to recognize any gain that remains as our long term capital gain. Right, this is good for the taxpayer. What we're calculating in step two is the bad part for the taxpayer. Okay, so thinking about our section 1245 recapture example, Take Back Hotels Inc., an elected C corporation, acquired personal property that is applied to its ordinary course of business in year one. The property had an original cost of $200,000 and is depreciated using the straight line method over the course of its 10 year useful life. On January 1st, year four, Take Back Hotels sold its asset for $280,000. We want to know what amount will the company recognize as ordinary income and as long-term capital gain upon the sale of the asset in year four. Okay, so pulling out our mental map, what's step one? We need to calculate the gain from the sale of this asset. So that's going to be the sales price over the net book value. Okay, and we know that this is a section 1245 asset 
because we know that it is personal property. It's not personal use property, which would simply just be a capital gain. This is a business use asset, right? It's used in its ordinary course of business. So because this is personal property, it would indicate that this is section 1245. Okay, so again, back to step one, we're calculating the gain. We know that the sales price of the asset is $280,000. This is going to be reduced by the book value of the asset. So we know the original cost is $200,000 and it is getting depreciated straight line over its 10 year useful life. So that means the company is taking a $20,000 depreciation expense each year. So it's now January 1st year four. That means three years have passed. That means the total accumulated depreciation at the date of sale amounted to $60,000, $20,000 per year times three years. If the original cost is $200,000, that means the book value is going to be $140,000, right? 200,000 minus the 60,000 gives us 140. So 280,000, the sales price less the $140,000 book value is going to give us this gain of $140,000. The question is, how are we going to treat this gain? Section 1245, so we need to think recapture, right? The IRS is taking back its money. But when we think of section 1245, we're thinking about recapturing accumulated depreciation. Specifically, it's going to be the lesser of the total accumulated depreciation or the gain from the sale. We know the gain from the sale is 140,000. We know the accumulated depreciation is 60,000. So we're going to recognize 60,000 as our ordinary income from the recapture of the section 1245 asset. Okay, so what that tells us is the $80,000 remaining from this gain will be what is treated as our long-term capital gain. 